This is Tank's vlog for May 29, 2019. The Mets' California road trip continues as they played their second game in Los Angeles. Steven Matz went out there and was effective. Pitching on sort of his birthday. I mean, since the game is sort of... I mean, in the East Coast, it was his birthday after midnight. Well, of course, it's still the day before out there, but he pitched decently, made uh, one mistake, and that was to uh, Cody Bellinger, who's just right now is probably the best player in baseball. Mets got to stop pitching to him. <laughs> they got to stop pitching to him. They had to look at the, the final two games of this series as we cannot let Cody Bellinger be the reason they lose this game. He, I mean, they just cannot do that. They got to, I mean, just pitch him like he, I mean, if you walk him, you walk him at this point. That's how good Cody Ballinger has been this year. The key moment came in the seventh inning when the Mets loaded the bases with nobody out. And Michael Conforto going the opposite way, which he should do more often. I mean, this lift and pull shit he did is what put him in the slump, which, which, which is what ruined him. Michael Conforto's at his best when he's able to spray the ball and hit the ball to all places, anywhere on the field. Of course, he had a grand slam. He only went one for four. I think uh, I think he got kind of ripped off earlier in the game when he got the, uh, they called it a fielder's choice. I mean, Justin Turner had no chance to throw him out at first. Of course, he threw home, and uh, Matt beat the throw home. Matt's also getting a hit and scoring the Mets' first run. But that's what you had to do. And uh, also of note is Steven Matz on the base pass today. He hustled. He ran. He was smart. I mean, should uh, Steven Matz be teaching uh, Carlos uh, Gomez and uh, Robinson Cano some lessons? I mean, Gomez on the base pass today. He was a dumpster fire. But the Mets got the win 7-3. to three. Back to 500 at 27 and 27. Uh, with Noah Syndergaard on the mound on Wednesday. Noah, Noah needs to step it up. He needs to step it up. I mean, Thursday is almost hopeless for the Mets. You got Vargas going against Hyun-Yon Ryu, who right now has uh, the lowest ERA in the National League. So this is up to the Syndergaard. If the Mets are going to split in Los Angeles... He needs to go out there and win tomorrow. He needs to go out there and be the Syndergaard that's good, not the not the fat door from Endgame. Moving on to other action, the Yankees. Uh, Masahiro Tanaka has not been himself this year, and this is. This is one thing that's been amazing about the Yankees. Just their great play is they have injuries and the top players that they've expected aren't performing. Like, uh, Masio Tanaka had struggled. And he gave up four runs in the first inning. And the Yankees were not able to come back this time as they lost to the Padres 5-4. to four. Meanwhile, the Red Sox are having problems on the other end as their bullpen allowed five runs in the seventh. Implosion. Kate Krimble, where are you? And they allowed seven runs over the last two innings. So the Indians were shut out for the first seven innings and ended up beating the Red Sox 7-5 to five in Fenway. In the conclusion of a suspended game, the White Sox... Beat the Royals 2-1. to one. And in the regular schedule game, it was the White Sox 4-3. It was the Reds 11-6 winners over the Pirates as Derek Dietrich slammed three home runs, all of them with a runner on base. Tigers blanked the Orioles 3-0. Cesar Hernandez hit a two-run homer as the Phillies beat the slumping Cardinals 
43. It was the Rays 3-1 winners over the Blue Jays is Austin Meadows homer for the third game in a row. Marlins clubbed the Giants 11-3. Giants are in an absolute tailspin at this moment with six straight losses. Nationals edged the Braves 5-4 and strong start for Steven Strasburg. Bregman homer twice leading uh, the Astros to a 9-6 win. It was the Twins 5-3 winners over the Brewers. It was the Rockies slamming the Diamondbacks 6-2. Rangers over the Mariners 11-4. And the Angels on Shohei Otoni's 2 on Homer beating the Athletics 6 to 4. Today's three stars is Derek Dietrich, of course, of the Reds with his three home runs. Michael Conforto with that big grand slam for the Mets, and Alex Bregman with a pair of home runs as the Astros beat the Cubs. Today's birthday shout out goes to one of the greatest racers of all time, Al Unser who turns 80, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, Steven Match turning 28. And we take a look back to 1989, when Mike Schmidt announced his retirement. So check out the story of Mike Schmidt's retirement at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.